Welcome everyone to Snippet News. Uh, in the month of February, a lot of stuff has happened uh, in, the, in the movie industry. Um, I'm going to start with Knives Out news. Uh, the movie is currently out for rent in, or buying uh, digitally uh, online. So if you haven't seen it, uh, it's worth the money. Uh, I and myself am going to buy it in a little bit when I actually have money. Uh, you know, student life. Um, however, uh, they already um, decided to make the second movie, which uh, it's great news. Um, uh, Ryan Johnson had a little bit of fun with that, tweeting about uh, asking people to give uh, possible names for the sequel, and uh, then he went ahead and read those, uh, some of those uh, online on Twitter, which I thought was very funny. Um, so they're already working on that and I think it's gonna be amazing. Ryan Johnson did a great job with that movie, as I said. Uh, but more importantly, um, Steve Jedlin, uh, who is the cinematographer for this movie, um, he's also uh, kind of academic in, the, in that side. He has found a way to replicate the uh, style of filming that a uh, movie ends up having when you do actual film, but on digital. And uh, the way he did it is um, um, cam digital cameras have a processing software inside on it. And so instead of relying on the uh, standards set up by the company, uh, he tweak each and everything on the, on the, 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 the camera, the processing part, so that the film, the, the movie looks like it was filmed on film camera. Uh, going so far as to actually creating a program to uh, randomly uh, insert like the the bubbles and grains that you can see in film. Uh, given us the uh, marvelous thing that it doesn't matter now if you film on film itself or in digital. Um, so like if you're a purist and you always like that, uh, now you have the option of going digital, which I believe uh, um, it might be cheaper to film in that way because um, you know you don't have to buy the film and then use it and then cut it and stuff. So it saves a little bit of time and uh, you'll still get that feeling of uh, the look that a film has on the movies. Um, there's a whole article about it. I would recommend you read it if you're interested in it. I think it was... Uh, very interesting knowing that there's somebody who likes their craft so much uh, at least in the in the cinematography part in other news Ewan McGregor uh, yeah, was being um, asked questions throughout the Birds of Prey uh, press uh, circuit and uh, obviously he being part of the Obi-Wan series in Disney Plus he got asked about that given the news that he was pushed back uh, some people got afraid that it was going to be cancelled and he was um, very confident in responding that the series is not being cancelled it's just being postponed a little bit so they can tweak the writing because uh, right before they started filming they noticed that it could be better and so I think this is great news for the series um, especially if it's a limited series since I'm afraid it's going to be uh, I mean with Evil McGregor on it I don't think it's going to be like a several season series um, but if they can tweak the writing so that it's not um, spotty in some points like in the Mandalorian series uh, and just make the whole uh, season uh, a great season I think that'll be great uh, and, and you know what I'm talking about if you have seen the Mandalorian there's a couple episodes where it feels that it's been a little bit like a filler episode uh, I like that series and it's pretty good it's well done and everything but it, there are some episodes that uh, maybe they could have merged together or taken apart uh, and introduced characters in another way. Uh, so, however, the Obi-Wan series is still on. They're just doing rewrites on the scripts. And uh, I hope they start filming soon because I really want to see Ewan McGregor back as Obi-Wan. On the DC side of things, J.J. Uh, Abrams, Bad Robot Company, the production company he runs, uh, has been asked to take over the Justice League Dark uh, on the, for the DC uh, and Warner Brothers. Um, obviously, J.J. is very good at starting things. Uh, even as a producer, he usually brings good ideas on that side. 
So it's gonna be interesting to see what he does with the, the dark magic team of the uh, DC superheroes. Continuing with the DC, uh, Matt Reeves, the director of The Batman uh, with Robert Pattinson has uh, released a video with a uh, proof of concept, a test of the suit that Robert Pattinson is going to be using uh, in The Batman. Uh, the video is very notable because it was released in Vimeo. Uh, some say, people say that be, it was better for the graphics of the suit since YouTube's compression uh, might have screwed up the, a little bit the visuals. Uh, the video is also notable because it uses uh, music from Michael Giacchino who uh, is scoring the music and uh, it looks great. Um, a little bit I was uh, uh, slightly uh, optimistic with it. Uh, I still wanted to see the ears because uh, with the video concept you could only see from like forehead to chest and so it didn't look, it looked a lot like the Daredevil suit from the series which was great. Um, and then recently we have seen some pictures of uh, filming of a motorcycle chase in which we can see the whole suit without the cape and uh, it looks fantastic the ears are actually pretty big which I'm very excited about I mean finally having a Batman with bad ears and uh, more importantly the motorcycle also seems to be Batman related so we're getting back those bad vehicles which are always fun uh, people complain about not having the cape for the shooting. Uh, I think it's a responsible thing. It's probably about uh, the cape's not there physically for um, security reasons and safety reasons, and it'll probably be added uh, in the post production digitally, uh, like Kylo Ren's cape in, in Rise of Skywalker. There are a couple of scenes where it was added after. Uh, you know, Edna Mora said it, no capes, they're not safe. So, they're taking that to heart, I guess. That's all. That's all my news for February. I hope you uh, are interested enough to watch this video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, spread the word. Um, follow us at Lord RLAP on Twitter and uh, Instagram, where I'm doing uh, my movie reviews one minute spoiler free hope you enjoy the movie